So when we bought this propane stove off Marketplace, they told us everything worked and there was nothing wrong with it. Well, unfortunately, when we got home and tested that, that wasn't really true. It was only a few days before we were gonna head out, and we found out that the propane stove had a small leak at the regulator connection inside the actual stove. So as a result, we sort of just lived with the propane leak, turning it on and off and running extra ventilation for the short stint that we were in our bus. Can't really say it was the best choice, but it was what we did at the time. So here is the culprit in question. So right in there, when I would spray it, there would be a tiny little bubble that would come out. So we're gonna try and get that gas metal bolt out over to a pipe worker or some kind of metal worker, and we'll get a new end welded on that we can connect up that does not leak. Problem solved. got the propane connection removed and we're gonna try and solder it so it doesn't leak. I watch you as you dry. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this So we tried soldering, but I don't think that's really gonna work. It's just not hot enough and the solder won't run down into the pipe where we'll actually seal the propane. I think what we need to do is to bust out the big guns. So we're gonna get the propane torch out and we're gonna torch the pipe until it's hot enough that the solder can melt right into it. All right, the ground's wet, so that should protect against a little bit of fire. You got me acting out Feeling dusty, got me feeling dusty. I can't even whisper 
first kind you've ever dreamed soldered but now we actually have to leak test it to make sure it's not going to continue to leak on us got my trusty spray bottle teflon tape so here's the moment of truth we have it connected we've got it soldered got a test propane tank down here so we've got it connected let's go ahead and see what happens Hmm. I still don't see any bubbles. I guess that means we did it, right? We leak tested it. We this is soapy water. I mean, it worked. We soldered it. We got it. We got it hot enough that solder literally flowed to the top of the brass. So like, I don't see any leaks anymore. So. I just think maybe we did it. You know, there was a moment there when I was using the electric soldering iron that I just didn't think it was gonna work. There was a point where I was just about to give up. Maybe you just end up buying like a, a stove top or something, just sort of calling it quits. But I decided no, we can do this. And I found our propane torch, got out the solder gear, and I think we fixed it. All right, so I stepped up the leak testing game a little bit. We've got the pipe fully submerged in a bucket of water. And aside from the bucket being very gross, I don't see any bubbles. What about you guys? See any bubbles? All right, everything is connected back up. We've got all the burners connected. I haven't done the gas yet, but everything is screwed back into place and reconnected for a final test. We got the gas connected. Let's go ahead and test it. Let's see if we get any bubbles, huh? I don't see anything. All right, there we go. So we got it successfully installed. We successfully tested it. I consider that to be fixed. Well, 